Hello and welcome to Ruby Savings. I'm here with the food pantry items that I picked up today. I was supposed to pick up last week, but I was not uh, in need of those items. This week, I could have gone another week without getting them. But you know, if you are going to these places and you are signing up, you need to show your face. You need to get these items before they actually um, take you off of the list. Now, this is one where you will get a card for maybe like every other maybe like every three weeks to go in to pick up items. So as I say, I didn't go last week. What I just showed you were some beans that I actually got from the food pantry and they're red beans. I soaked them overnight. Then I'm going to cook them up for about an hour. Then I'm going to take them, let them cool, put them in the fridge and re and finish cooking them. A friend of my sister did hers in that way and she says they were absolutely delicious it's because the seasoning sets once you do that partial cook and of course i'm going to add some seasoning into it maybe about um, a half an hour into it guys thank you for coming to my channel i am ruby with ruby savings and i am here and all about sharing blessing god and savings and I like to go out and get things that will help me in my budget. Right now, I am out of school as of June the 26th because I did summer school. Keep in mind, summer school was only partial pay. So I don't receive any more pay from the school until the end of August. So going to food pantries, discount grocery stores, Goodwill and Goodwill Outlet has made it possible for me to put money back that will help me. I am still pitching at this time because money is thin, but the most prominent bills will get paid. So while I'm out of work now, I'm going to go around to these different places that have all of these great deals to continue saving money. I had enough food that Really, it was over two months worth of food that I had that I did not have to actually go to the um, grocery store and pick up any food. However, I still go get the things from the discount grocery store. I also go um, by Walmart and pick up items. Like last week, I picked up 14 cans of uh, green beans so I can stock them. And like these um, here, I go to Costco's and pick up like four of these for like $9.99. And they give you in each pack, they give you 54. These napkins right here were like buy one, get one free with um, Publix for, for one week. But I end up getting six packs for like $6 and change. That's a dollar and some. But let me get over to my uh, video. So right here, these are the beans that I'm actually making up. And these are some collard greens. Somebody asked me a long time ago to make a video with some collard greens. I'm just going to tell you how I made it. Um, I took, I bought greens for three fifty. I washed them, cleaned them up, even cleaned it with a little vinegar. I put this meat called neck bones into the meat. And I put... Um, let me see what do you call um it's called badea oh here it is it's called the complete seasoning i put some of that in there and i put some of the sea salt and um i put some more uh different kind of flavors in it it was some side type of spanish seasoning uh it tastes so so good with vegetables and um some bacon oil and so that's what I put into that. So these beans are going to be cooked for later on during the week. So let me go over here and just show you guys what I got today at the food pantry. So I got a double portion of food because usually when I go, I will pick up for myself and I will pick up for someone else. Plus everything that I get, I don't always keep. Let me start over here, even though I started with the food. They always will give me diapers if they have it. So I have these uh, wipes and I have this desitine. I have size five um, pull-ups and I have some diapers in here for 
um, uh, yeah, she gave me two packs of size three. So I'm happy with that. This here has to go back to Walmart. This here looks very bad. And I need to take it back and get my money um, back for that. But as you look right here, let me show you something. This box says Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Florida. And this is a company that goes around and take, accepts donations as well as purchase food to help people keep food on their, um, in their house. Okay, so let me show this here to you. The first two things I got were two packs of the hot Italian sausage made with pork. So these items right here is something that I usually take and give away the hot pork sausages. I have received this before from Trader Joe's. Um, steamed chicken soup dumplings. I got a pack of organic free-range chicken. I also got something that's new to me. Beef and broccoli. It says mild, sweet, and spicy beef and broccoli. Um, that's something new that they had for me from Trader Joe's. And I got two big bags of uh, sweet tango apples and lately i've been taking my apples and cutting them up and put it towards with my dinner so i can have me some fruit and then if once i showed you that box there you see over there there are if you can see around that corner it's actually three boxes of that now in those boxes they gave me and I apologize, I forgot about the egg noodles. One of my favorite th uh, pastas I like is the egg noodles. Let me show you what I got here. Okay, so I um, that came from the box. Um, fruit spread grape um, jelly. And sometimes I will take that and mix that up. Uh, maybe with some brown sugar or Worcestershire sauce or what have you to make myself some kind of glaze to go on my meat. Look, I got Trader Joe's pork lawn baby back ribs. So I'm very pleased to get those. I got a, I got a pack of um, this macaroni and cheese. What I normally do is either I'm, most likely I'm going to give the boxes away. But in the past, what I have done was taking the boxes and given um take that uh, thrown away the the whatever that cheese uh chemical is and i'll use the noodles i also got pancakes and i also received uh the syrup uh to go with it and i have the dairy milk usually i try to keep a good portion of these here in my uh stash of things that i've gotten before and my stash of things. So if I ever need something, then over here, this is not from this food pantry, but this here was actually from another food pantry. This uh, Planters Tropical Fruit and Nuts Trail Mix. And oh, I want to show y'all my nails. Look at this right here. So I guess you say, well, Ruby, why are you getting your nails done so fastified and you going over to a food pantry? Number one, as I said, I like to save money. Number two, it offsets my budget and it helps me to be able to save money and um just save money and be able to put you know uh keep some more things in my my pantry but you see these beautiful nails let me show it to you get a good look okay guess how much i paid to get my nails done not one dime i did it myself they were $1.67 for this pack of nails from Timu. And I love to keep my nails nice and gorgeous. And at this time, going and spending that uh, price was not in the budget. So that's uh, something that I had to cut out, especially for the summer. Okay, then I got two of these no sweet, no salt sweet peas. I'm happy to have gotten these canned carrots. I got two cans of those. Now, what I'm showing to you, this stuff came in one of these boxes. There are 
four of these boxes. So what I'm going to do, do is go through these boxes and keep some of the things that I want for myself. Then I'm going to make up another box or boxes and go back and give it away in the community to other people. Um, spaghetti sauce. Chili with beans. Uh-oh. And two cans of beefaroni. One can of beefaroni. Yes, and two cans of beefaroni. I think I said the chicken noodle soup. Peanut butter. I received two cans of this um, light tuna with textured soy protein in water. And one can of white chicken. So I'm definitely going to be keeping the white chicken. But I'm going to take and go back and share some of these dinners with other families. I do know for myself, I'm definitely keeping my ribs and I'm definitely keeping my chicken. And most likely this item and this item and the majority of these items here will be given away. And I'll keep one bag of apples. And therefore, I have gone out, supplied my house with a food supply, supplied my house with more food. Now I can go back and I can share what was shared with me and give to other people. So this is what I received today at the food pantry. I want to turn this camera around and I want to sit down and talk to you uh, for a second. Um, let me go over here because my lighting, my light needs to be changed. So, uh, I do mission work. I'm trying to catch my breath. I'm okay. I do mission work and that's where normally, um, before the COVID, we would def definitely go out on the streets a lot and we would go out to, there's still opportunities to go out and talk to people and pray with people. But since that time, the organization that I work with um, has done a lot of things, has changed a lot of things. They do give away food. A lot of the canned goods will be donated back to them because uh, Minister Davis of Total Restoration, Total Transformation um, Outreach Center takes this food and makes packages and give it out to people that need it or when there is a certain event she takes those packages and give it out give it out okay i said all that to say this i've been with this mission for a while and i love 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 mission work ever since i was a girl and i would see people go on mission trips i wanted to be a part of that so um, I'm not as much active out in the, the streets as I used to. I would see uh, people that were ODNO, um, uh, bouncing around on heron, um, prostitutes, pimps, people who just fell down on their luck, uh, bad luck, people who were homeless, and people who were just poor and people who just were spiritually and mentally just um, poor in spirit and in, um, I would say, problems with their mind where they needed mental help. And I really enjoyed going out, trying to make, make, no, not trying, but making a difference with blessing and helping somebody and looking over my life and saying, God, whatever it is that I'm going through is not as bad as what I see some of these people going through. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the strength to go back and bless and to help these people. So the Lord has really made me appreciate my life more. And this is why I pray over my, my house. I pray over my children, my neighbors. I just pray to God and I just thank him every day to keep us built up. I pray over my YouTube family. I wish I knew more of you. I'm sure we will have a more personal relationship. But again, I said all of that to say this. There is a lady that I am happy to help at this time because I want her to be um, not homeless, but a, um, a success story because she is so determined. So a family member of mine that she stayed with passed away of cancer. And she was there in the last days taking care of him. Now, 
she lives in an apartment and her family has been helping her, but the rent is extremely high. So I have been helping her like with emails and telephone calls and going over to fi find places um, to stay. It is very difficult to find places. They say, fill out this information or email this information. And when I tell you, it takes a lot to try to get on these programs. There are so many people who are homeless right now. And there, by the grace of God, she is still in the apartment that um, she is staying. So we went out today and the places with the place where she uh, we looked at she really don't want to stay there and i was kind of like you still need to try because you know eventually your parent your, your your family won't be able or may not be willing to continue to help you with your rent every month so i got a little frustrated because we actually went over there and i know her problem with the place is that it actually don't have the the cooking facilities in the room you would have to go down to um, another room and you would have to cook and I can understand that but again when you're almost homeless and without her son she would be homeless she would um you know um it would she would she would definitely be homeless and so I ask about her family and nobody is in a position or would not help her I said that to say this to everybody out there. And I still, I talk to my children every day. Prepare yourself now. When you're young and it looks like the whole, you got the whole world to enjoy. You got the whole world that's so far away from, you know, you're passing away or you're getting old or whatever. You have to prepare now. You have to save now. Because now other people are up in their age that she needs to get help from and they, you know, don't have it, are not willing to help. Or sometimes we burn our bridges with everybody. We cannot burn our bridges with everybody. Now, hear me good. I'm not saying that that is her situation, but that was a thought that when I came up, came to my mind when I said, wow, all these people that she has there's nobody that's willing to help her um so i would say to you take care of the resources you have save your money get you a job if you're not going to have a business and put in for she gets social security disability but it's not enough and there's a lot of people going on right now in this world that is facing that not enough. If you have to work two dark jobs, do what you have to do. Put yourself in a position and don't over out don't outlive or don't outspend the income that you have. Try to live under your means. Get what you can to help yourself to be able to save that 10, 15, or even $25 a month. Take care of your resources now. Take care of your life now and don't burn your bridges. Guys, thank you so much for coming over to my channel today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Would you be so kind to do me a favor? Would you please go over and look at least three of my other videos and give me a like? I'm trying to build up the amount of hours I have on YouTube so I myself can have another stream of income. Plus, I like what I'm doing, and I know you are enjoying it as well, or you would not be here. God loves you. Remember, Jesus died on the cross and arose in three days. He is our deliverer, our forgiver, our hope, and our provider. And even though we believe in God, sometimes things may be difficult, but we have to also give God something to work with. So let's take care of what we have. Let's be forgiving of one another. Let's be sure to reach out and help 
one another. I know you guys know, uh, most of you may know Joyce Myers with the life that she went through. With the life that you go through, there may be people that don't deserve your help, but bless and help them anyway, because this is what God will want us to do, because none of us are deserving of him forgiving us of our sins. So guys, take a good look in the mirror of yourself. Forgive yourself. Love yourself. And keep practicing saying positive things to yourself. And if you need mental health, go get yourself some mental health. Pray over your children and your house now. Train them up in the way that they need to go. Never giving up on them. Help them to be proficient, proficient for their life. Because guess what? None of us will always be here. So let's do our part now. Bless one another and take care of ourselves. God bless you. I appreciate you. Please look at those three videos. And if you do, please leave me a comment. I really appreciate you. God bless you. Have the best, most beautiful day.